Hello my soccer universe for another collection video and today we're looking at this frankly gorgeous Turkey away jersey from 2014 and 15 and as always I want to start how did this end up in my collection well you know that for Euro 2020 what became Euro 2021 um, I wanted to have a jersey for every team that was participating and as Turkey had qualified Turkey needed to be added to the collection because I didn't have a Turkey jersey yet um, and for me there was ever only one option. I don't know if you're aware, I, in the mid-2010s, I wrote a blog where I reviewed mo uh, mostly national team jersey or, you know, big jer jersey from Champions League and so on. And in 2014 Nike kind of hit this sweet spot with really a nice traditional looking yet modern shirts. And this Turkish shirt was one that I reviewed and immediately was very much up there as a 10 out of 10 jersey which I still agree with. Now Turkish jerseys around here probably not so hard as one might expect to get by since there's a, a sizable Turkish population living in Austria. The question is always how legit they are. However I really was dead set I want to have this jersey. I really want to have this jersey and so I was look, looking around in the end I found it on classic football shirts however the story doesn't end there I ordered it I know I ordered it in XL and it was like a like brand new condition and then when I opened the shirt it turns out that this one uh, was not only an L but there were also a few blemishes on there I'm not sure if I will find them it's just minor ble uh, blemishes on there that I kind of said, guys, I think you sent me the wrong shirt. Uh, I ordered in Excel and then they said, well, you can either uh, replace it or we give you a gift card. The gift card covered another shirt that I will cover next. So in that sense, it worked out. All out. I kept that one. In the end, I fit into it. L from 2014-15 Nike is uh, just about acceptable. And so I have a Turkey jersey in my collection. Okay, here it is in close-up and first off the design with the chest band is actually the classic home design for Turkey. However, uh, as a little caveat, the classic design and they're using this now and they have been using before is that uh, the half moon and the star are actually in the center, not necessarily on the roundel. However, I don't mind this here for the simple reason that we have the Nike logo and uh, the placement of the, of the Nike logo now that they go more back to the traditional style, the Nike logo then moves up here, which makes everything look a little bit weird. I wanna say that the number on the front was worn down here, however, I could also imagine it here, but there's very little space to house a full front number. Uh, that's maybe the only way that you can balance it out if you have the crest center to have the Nike logo and number then somewhere here. However, as a plain jersey, I think this is the way I actually quite like it and almost prefer it in a way. It has a more traditional uh, look and then that's basically it when you look at it at first and I think in, in itself the red chessman is already a really strong uh, look however this is one of those jer jerseys where a little pattering in there elevates the jersey to the next level and this is exactly what is hap happening here um, and I first of all I like the contrast of the white with the red but then look inside, there is this very intricate pattern. This is the so-called Chintami pattern. I think that's how I would pronounce That's how I would pronounce it. Uh, you tell me other, otherwise if you know, which was part of Ottoman, um, not only arch architecture, but also textiles in the 15th and 16th century. So uh, really, really old, tying it back to the history of Turkey. And I absolutely lo love it. I mean, the Ottoman Empire was a major player, especially around the time that this pattern came up. Uh, so I cannot tell you how much I love this from the get-go. And I want to go uh, a little bit closer that you can make, make it out, especially like that these kind of like three eyes that are pointing at each other. It's it's really, really gorgeously done. It's a, a for that a very, very fine jer jersey. Other than that, it's rather plain. You have here white sleeve scarves, you have a white ne necklace, it's rather plain, but that was the strength of the Nike jerseys back then. You have on the triangular inset, uh, you also have a famous uh, symbol for Turkey, or if, if you want to say Southeastern Europe, which is the Eye of Nazar, um, which basically 
fending off the evil eye, uh, uh, you know, as a sign of good spirits and so on. Uh, I actually like that one as well, to have a little bit of that touch too. Other than that, it's plain on, on, on the back, it's very much um, your typical uh, Nike jersey of the era, 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 but you know, it's just that pattern together with the striking um, uh, design makes this for me a standout jersey. This jersey was also worn during a very interesting period for the Turkey national team, of course in qualification for Euro 2016. They did not qualify for the, for the World Cup uh, that time around, I think losing out to Croatia if I uh, remember correctly. Um, they started badly in this camp campaign and by the end of 2014 I think my model had the chances of qualifying at less than 5%. Then they got a draw in the Netherlands, I would assume wearing this jersey. Uh, they beat the Netherlands at home, wearing the home jersey 3-0. I think um, they won away to the Czechs and that elevated them up and Turkey finished then as one of the best uh, third place teams with a direct spot for Euro 2016. So they completely turned around the fortunes. I think the most um, uh, the most not notable players from the time are of course Ada Turan and Bura Gilmas uh, who have, have been wearing this jersey overall. For now, this is my only Turkish shirt. Um, but honestly, I have been thinking of getting at least a red one as well. I do prefer Turkey in white with red. This is still my favorite uh, design. However, uh, it's very much uh, the red one. Seems like some sauce or something I, I should get. I actually uh, don't mind the one for 2018, but it was a little bit black in there. The 2016 is probably a little bit wild, you know, it's the red with the black net over, which again ties back to architecture, but how, however, it doesn't work as well as with this one, as a subtle. Or I'm, you know, getting the equivalent in red, I wouldn't mind to have either, but I have to see what comes uh, up and what I will end up with. It also is uh, the, the definite matter of the price. But I think a second turkey jersey is definitely uh, on my radar as well. So with that, let me know what you think about this beauty, what I consider a really beautiful jer uh, jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.